My name is Randy Bigley. Joining me on the podcast this morning from Pioneer Career and Technology Center is Dan Bircher. Good morning, Dan. Good morning. Dan, what is your position there at uh, Pioneer? My title at, at Pioneer is the EMIS coordinator, mm -hmm. which stands for Educational Management Information System. Okay. So I handle a lot of the student data, mm -hmm. testing information, uh, a lot of the data that drives our funding and our reports budget. Okay, wow, okay. Uh, so uh, you have a, you have an event coming up, too, we want to talk about real quick. How's that? Well, what, what is it on Friday? We have a our annual Community Service Day. We're bringing it back this year. We had a couple-year hiatus due to the pandemic, but we're bringing it back this year. It's going to be on April 22nd, where we send all of our students out to their home communities to do mm -hmm. different acts of service. And what kind of services have they done in the past? We have done... We've done painting, we've done a lot of mulching, mm -hmm. weeding, uh, just sort of picking up around parks, getting them ready for the spring and summer. Um, we've built ramps mm -hmm. throughout Crawford County. Um, we have done um, some setup of different events, things for, say, uh, the women's shelter in Mansfield, those types of things. Okay. So it's, it's a wide variety of uh, acts that we do. And using the skills that they learn at Pioneer to go do these out in communities, right? Exactly. I can mm -hmm. tell you of a project that uh, it's kind of been ongoing, but we're going to sort of finish it up and have sort of a uh, ceremony. Mm -hmm. And that's in Crestline. Uh, they had an old train that was in their playground mm -hmm. that they wanted refurbished, put back together. It was sort of rusted and falling apart. And our welding class mm -hmm. uh, helped refurbish this train. We got it back to them, and we will have a little ceremony on the afternoon of the 22nd to nice, kind okay. of open that back up to the community. Wow. How long has this, uh, this, this been going on? How many years have you guys done this? This will be our 10th year. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, we had a couple years off there, but we started back in like 2012 mm -hmm. with basically just working uh, in Shelby alone. Okay. We took a smaller group of kids. We didn't take the entire student body, but we took a a smaller group of kids and just did uh, projects throughout the town mm -hmm. in an afternoon. And then we decided, you know, just kind of, it would be nice if we could send the kids out back to their home communities rather than just doing mm -hmm. work for the city of Shelby. And so uh, two years later, we, we started this pro project. Oh, wow. And uh, there's a lot of uh, school districts that go to Pioneer, correct? There's a lot of communities that you'll be working with. Oh, yes. Uh, we'll be in an uh, we're going to touch seven different counties. Wow, wow. In this. Mm -hmm. We have 14 partner school districts that come to Pioneer, but then we have a handful of students from outside districts that also attend Pioneer, okay. and, and we'll be touching some of those communities as well. Oh, nice. Well, you'll be even touching where I live in Lexington, so you probably yes, be down that area, too. <laughs> we will be in Lexington. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, how many school districts are, are do you service for Pioneer? How many? 14. 14, wow, yeah. wow. And like I said, you know, we're an open enrollment yeah. district. So we do have some students that come into us from outside mm -hmm. districts such as Mansfield or Ashland. Sure. Um, we've had some South Central students, Hillsdale students. Mm -hmm. uh, it just it varies from year to year. Yeah. I know uh, one of the schools that the, is your partner is Northmore because Chad was just in a little earlier. So yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's the only Morrow County school I think that goes to Pioneer. <laughs> that's true. Wow. It is. Yeah. So wow. that's that's where we touch Morrow County is, yeah. is through Northmore. And uh, we've got a couple projects going on down mm -hmm. there. We're going to do some work for the school kids doing that and then we've also got a group going to the eco center okay. which is yeah. out towards uh, Iberia mm -hmm. and the nice part about our community service day this year is it actually falls on Earth Day. Oh nice okay yeah, yeah. so that wasn't even that probably wasn't even planned. It was wasn't it? planned but yeah, when I saw that the dates yeah. lined up I said this is going to be great. Yeah. Awesome. You guys are about done with school this year, aren't you? Getting close to it? We're into our fourth quarter. It's right, hard to yeah. believe yeah. this year has right. is flying by but uh, it's, it's gone really well, you know, everything considered, uh, things are, seem to be getting back to normal. Mm -hmm. It's been our, our most normal year for the last three years. It's nice, isn't it? It is <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's nice to be able to get, get the students back out to do these projects again when we couldn't there for a while. It is. It is very nice. And, uh, you know, we do it annually, but because of the pandemic, mm -hmm. the, the students who are at Pioneer right now have not been able to partake in this, yeah. and this will all be new to them. Right. So. It's always nice to get them out there and, and do some community service. They do take great pride in, in mm -hmm. the projects that they do, and we hope that you know, we'll instill in them this pay-it-forward attitude, and, yeah. and they'll carry that on. So if you see the students out there, give them a support. You know, you know, yes, we'll all be wearing uh, Pioneer yeah. uh -huh. T-shirts that day, mm -hmm. and uh, you'll see them out there in groups of 10 to 12 along with a staff member. Very cool. We'll have uh, over 90% 
950 yeah. pioneer wow. students and staff out and about on that day. Fantastic. Are you going to be out and about or are you going to be back? <laughs> I will coordinate at the beginning. There you and go. I will probably join in with the group. Nice. Know, as everything kind of settles in. Right, right. Well, Chad, thank you so much, uh, Dan, for, uh, for for coming in today. And again, what's the date on that? It's April 22nd. We will be out from approximately 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Thank you. Dan Bircher from Pioneer Career and Technology Center. Thank you, Dan. Thank you.